Well, this is one of my properties. You guys have seen me mow this in the past. It's just a tiny front yard. There is no backyard. It's just a like slab stone patio. We had to blow all that out from back there and up the side. You see Ryan to the left hand side blowing that out now from going around there. But I mow this one and the one right next door. You guys have seen me plow these two. I actually plow five in a row right here in the winter time. But uh, I noticed mowing this, I was looking behind and seeing a lot of stuff left behind. And you can kind of see some of it coming out the back of the mower at certain parts. And uh, I realized quickly that I still had the big hold screen in the back of the walker. So after I get done with this little bit here, I go back to the truck and I switch the screens out to the small hold screen and that problem was all gone. It was vacuuming everything up perfect and working just as it should and it worked great the rest of the day and I didn't leave any debris behind anywhere. So like I said, this is my property here and uh, it's about the only one of mine we did today actually. We did a few of Ryan's, got a bunch knocked off his list and the rest of what you'll see after this property are all Ryan's properties. But uh, we got them done and started to run into a little bit of problem with the walker. Uh, a couple times I went to start it and I turned the key and it just did absolutely nothing. There is some, uh, there's wiring that was changed that's under the seat from when this went from an EFI motor to a regular carbureted engine and took a lot of the computer stuff out of it so there was a little bit of wiring left underneath there um, that was changed around and the dealer had crimped it together with regular crimp connectors which I'm not a fan of um, so I think that is the issue I, it seems to be that might be what's giving me the problem I'm just gonna pull them apart I'm gonna solder the wires together and used uh, shrink coating whatever you call it shrink tubing around it and then it should be fixed for good and I'll never have that problem again but keep watching this is the rest more cleanups and uh, just getting them done a lot of it's real wet heavy thick leaves and you know it just took some work to get these done throughout the day with the Tiger Cat and the clamshell, the walker, the Toro push mower, and we've been running around doing cleanups today. We went and rototilled that one property of mine, uh, that front yard to plant the seed and fertilizer. We did that, and then we went and did a small cleanup of mine. We went and did a good size cleanup of his, and now we're going to go do another one of his. We went and had some lunch, and we had to stop here at the hardware store because he forgot his pruners and he needs a set of pruners for this job. So we got to go from here over to knock out another one of his. It started to sprinkle on us a little bit, but tomorrow's supposed to like torrential rain downpour. So we'll see what happens. But for right now, we're going to knock out whatever we can. And I really don't have that many cleanups left to do. So I'm just helping him knock out all his. <laughs> This is a property that I got a call for. Um, it's actually two properties or what the call was for, for a spring cleanup and some other, a bunch of other landscaping. I sent them both to Ryan. I definitely didn't have the time to do all the landscaping. I figure if he's doing part of it, he should do all of it. But down this whole side of the house here, there's tarps there and there was uh, leaves under the tarp, on the tarp, and it was just, it really seemed like it had been there for a couple of years. It was real thick, wet, just real nasty stuff. So it definitely took some time to bag these up. I kept mowing over them best I could, um, bagging them up best I could, and then Ryan was coming through like you see him right here, blowing it out and spreading it all out again. But uh, we got it all done, and the properties were looking great when we left. Uh, he might get more work out of this. We'll see what happens from here. <laughs> 